Hey, Mom. Uh, I know we call and talk from time to time, and I uh, got to come see you here a while back, but I, I figured this would be a nice new way to, to kind of see you and let you see me and tell you I love you and I'm thinking about you. I'm at the gym. I'm on, the, let's see, I don't know, I guess about mile seven on the little electric, I don't know, bike, whatever you call these things. Um, I love you guys, and I'm really grateful for you. I, the, the, the fact that you were able to do what you did with two kids on your own, you know, and when I say on your own, I mean after Dr. Kelly, because before then you had, you know, Mama and Papa all while you were doing your modeling thing and all that, but you really took on the world once you and Dr. Kellett split up. And you gave my brother and I a wonderful, beautiful life. And I just wanted you to know how grateful I am. Uh, I wish more than anything else I could pay you back for that. Like in a really big and beautiful way. And I know you say that I do. And I'm, I know this will make you smile. Uh, it makes me smile knowing that it's going to make you smile, as, as dorky as that sounds. Um, I pray for you guys all the time. I've had the entire church pray for you. Uh, and Jamie, you know, I love my little brother. I, I wish a lot of things for him, you know, and you both. And I, I've been asking him for years to to get himself prepared, you know, to have his feet already on the ground running for, for when you go go home and not wait till the last minute. You know, that's why I gave him the car, so he could, you know, get his ducks in a row and get prepared for the world. And unfortunately, that incident happened, you know, whatever the facts are about that, nobody actually knows except for Jamie. And it, it sounds like he didn't even actually know all of them. We've, we've never talked about it, you know, he did tell me that he, you know, felt real guilty about what happened. I told him it's cool, you know, life life comes along. I wasn't upset with him. Um, it's just real unfortunate because that car was basically a key for him to improve his life. And I, I hope, <laughs> I really hope he, he, he finds his way because he's got the talent the knowledge in his head. He's got all the things he needs to be a total badass and to own the world. I mean, hell, he owned it before, back when he used to bring home, what, $1,200, $1,500 a week? That boy could have been living in a badass house by now and being Mr. Successful. But unfortunately, the, you know, the addictions, like, you know, got the best of him, just like they got the best of me for a while. You know, not, I'm certainly not innocent. None of us are. But anyway, I, I love y'all, and I just wanted you to see my face for a minute. So it would sort of, sort of be like being there with you. And yeah, I know it's probably kind of noisy. I'm at the gym and riding the bicycle, like I said. But I just, I don't know, I just thought this would be a cool thing to do. So know that you are loved and valued tremendously. And I'm super grateful for all that you ever did. You were a wonderful man. I love you. Bye.